I'd like to show you some of the new perennials that we've just planted in one of our perennial flower gardens. We've got some columbine that we put in and we've got different colors. We've got pinks, purple, red, and white. And of course they are perennial. And then we've got viburnum, which is more of a, a deciduous shrub that has a real pretty color flower on it as well. And then we've got the dwarf Alberta spruce that's been in for several years and it has a miniature style. And then beside that, we've put in some new Nandinas, which a lot of us are familiar with, but this is a new cultivar called San Gabriel. And the foliage is very fine and feathery-like. And you might say it's really starting to take on an Oriental or Japanese garden appearance. And a lot of the plants, such as the Chinese pistache and iris, and such of plants like these are really found in a lot of the Japanese gardens. One of the other things that you find often in a Japanese garden is a lot of signage or ornaments. And this is a Japanese garden post that was sent to us by Mr. Tony Bishop from Sun Garden Specialties right in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And the garden post is really a nice feature to our small Japanese gardens. And on this side it says in Japanese, welcome to our gardens. On this side it's Oklahoma Gardening. Then he refers to the Oklahoma State University Centennial on this side, and over here is the date of when he made the post. And we'd like to thank Tony for his talent and hard efforts in designing this for us. And we'd also like to take you to see a Japanese garden on a grander scale, one done in Oklahoma style. We are at the home of Mr. and Mrs. Larry Jones in Stillwater, Oklahoma. And Larry has turned his backyard into a Japanese garden. And Larry, uh, welcome to Oklahoma Gardening. Hi Steve, thank you very much. Appreciate you inviting us out. You're actually a professor here with Oklahoma State University in the... Yes, I am. Which department are you? In uh, electronics and computer technology. Okay. How did a professor in electronics and computers get interested in Japanese gardening? Well, I spent time in Japan in the service, met my wife, and the first time that she took me to a Japanese garden, I fell in love with them and have been uh, tremendously interested in them since that time. Right. Well, there, I know there are certain components and things that really make up a Japanese garden. And I know a lot of it has to do with ornaments, and, and I know we hear some chimes in the background too. Is that a big part of the Japanese garden? In most gardens, there will be wind chimes uh -huh. that sort of signify uh, the passage of time as they uh, respond to the wind uh -huh. passing through the garden. What about plant material too? What, what kind of plants would you see in a Japanese garden? Well, one would almost always find bamboo. This is sort of central to uh, a Japanese landscape garden. Um, a lot of uh, uh, heavenly bamboo, nandina as we would call it, mm -hmm. um, a lot of iris, azalea, uh, plants that are native to Japan. So as one uh, constructs a Japanese garden in Stillwater, you sort of have to adapt the kinds of plants that you're using to the environment that right. you're in. And you've done that so nicely here too with a lot of the plants that grow in our area. So a lot of it has to do with maybe training and size and texture too. Why don't you yes. tell us a little bit about some of the different components of your garden? Okay, well, there are different kinds of gardens. Uh, a water garden, uh, a dry garden, which has a lot of rocks and pebbles, mm -hmm. um, a viewing garden and combination, walking garden and combination of those. I guess I would have to uh, classify what I've done as a viewing garden that uh, is intended to allow one to sit in the tea house and uh, simply view the garden and enjoy the view mm -hmm. uh, along with the, uh, the viewing aspect. It certainly could be considered uh, in part as a, a water garden mm -hmm. with the, the pond, uh, which was the first thing that I constructed mm -hmm. in the garden, connected by the stream and the, uh, uh, the circulating uh, water. Mm -hmm. Um, now I notice you've got some of the uh, water plants in there too. That that seems to be very popular in, in Japanese gardening yes. as, as far as the fish and the water plants. Very much so. Too. So you're recycling the water up to the hill and, and making your uh, little yes. stream there. Any particular plants or areas that are your favorite here? I guess the area around the, the shishiodoshi, the, the bamboo piece, is called a shishiodoshi, which okay. literally means deer scare. Okay. It was intended in uh, 
ancient Japan to clang on the rock as the water flowed into it and, and uh, upset the balance to uh, scare deer and wild boar right. in the park. Well, Larry, do you I think sort of you like can that. help us construct one of those at our studio gardens? I don't know how often you've seen our show, but we are inundated with deer damage, so we may <laughs> have to have you, <laughs> you help us construct one of those out there and see if it works. <laughs> So well, that's one of your favorite areas. You can then. see that it works. I have no deer in my house. <laughs> <laughs> Any other areas, uh, particular plants that you've brought over from Japan or anything like that? The only thing that has actually been brought from Japan was the bamboo piece, the shishio doshi. Okay. Uh, everything else is native to Oklahoma. Okay. Well, Larry, I understand in July you're going to be moving back to Japan. What will you be yes, doing there? Uh, OSU is constructing a campus there, and I will be going as the associate director of that campus and to teach one course along okay. with, with that responsibility. Well, Larry, this has just been a, a refreshing visit for us to see how someone can go with the theme and, and develop it in a small backyard like this, especially in Stillwater, Oklahoma, where it's so windy and have a lot of heavy clays. We appreciate you coming and, and, and inviting us out to visit with you and we'll send you a tape so you can send that and take it with you to Japan and show them how to garden Japanese style in Oklahoma. Thanks I again Larry. Do so. Appreciate Thank it you very much, much for coming out. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.